In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 13, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Houston Astros vs. Detroit Tigers The Houston Astros continue their three-game series in the Motor City as they battle the lowly Tigers on Tuesday night. The Astros reached 90 victories over the weekend and are comfortably in front in the American League West Division and look poised to get a first-round bye in the American League playoffs. The Tigers are in the midst of a terrible season and will hope to play spoiler against the front-running Astros. The pitching matchup for Tuesday night will be young right-hander Hunter Brown of the Astros taking on fellow righty Drew Hutchison of the Tigers. The Astros are 39-17 in their last 56 Tuesday games and 82-39 in their last 121 on grass. Houston is 53-26 in their last 79 overall. Meanwhile, the Tigers are 1-4 in their last 5 Tuesday games and 18-39 in their last 57 overall. Detroit is 17-36 in their last 53 on grass. Hunter Brown will get the nod for Houston, making his second major league start after a marvelous performance last week. He threw six scoreless innings on Monday in a 1-0 victory for the Astros against the Rangers. Brown was stellar, allowing just three hits in the contest with five strikeouts and one walk. He faces one of the worst lineups in the majors in this game. Coming into this game, the Tigers have hit the fewest number of home runs, are second last in on-base percentage, and score the fewest runs per game in the majors with 3.34. Brown had a great debut in his first major league start back on September 5th versus the Rangers. In that one, Brown put up six clean frames with three hits and a walk. Another performance like that should set up Houston very well. As for Hutchison, he's got seven earned over his last three starts in a combined 15 innings. This is a great spot for the youngster to continue shoring up his stuff before the Astros decide if he can crack the playoff roster. So the Houston Astros to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Astros' potent lineup has been rather quiet as of late, going 3-6-1 to to one to the over in their last 10 games. The Astros are 4-1-1 to one to one in their last 6 games on grass. The Tigers have the league's second-worst batting average and the worst runs-per-game average in baseball. Brown, without much of a book to be studied on him, was outstanding in his first start as he held the Rangers' lineup scoreless for 6 innings. The aforementioned Tigers have been a disaster from the dish all year. It is a shame because their patchwork pitching rotation has actually done a good job. Bob. They have allowed the ninth fewest home runs in the majors and serve up 4.45 runs per game. Hutchison has been thrust into the rotation, and he has done an admirable job. He comes into this start carrying a 4.08 earned run average and 1.43 WHIP. The Astros will certainly get their runs in this one, and I can see the score looking like 5-1 or 4-2. Hunter Brown has been excellent, and as long as Drew does not get into major problems, this game will stay well under the number. Entering play Monday, the total number has gone under in four of five matchups between these teams. This Tigers lineup can easily be kept in check as well and will score three runs or fewer in this matchup. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Philadelphia Phillies versus Miami Marlins. The Philadelphia Phillies face the Miami Marlins with both teams on opposite sides of the National League East Division to wrap up the season. The Phillies have a 78-62 record and with three wins in a row have built up a lead in the National League wild card standings. The Marlins, on the other hand, have a 58-83 record and with a 15-35 second half record have fallen to the bottom of the National League. For the upcoming game, the Phillies will turn to Bailey Falter who has only allowed two runs in his last two starts as their starting pitcher while the Marlins will turn to Sandy Alcantara who hopes to bounce back after allowing nine runs in his last two starts. The Marlins are turning to their best starter and can easily win this game at home. The problem is that the Phillies are red hot with three wins in a row and look to overwhelm the Marlins from the first inning. The Phillies, who have scored 20 runs in their last three games, should drive in runs against Sandy Alcantara. 
who has allowed nine runs in his last two starts with Bryce Harper, Reese Hoskins, and the rest of the batting order making hard contact and crushing the ball to easily play bass runners. The Phillies should also limit the Marlins' hapless lineup that is averaging only 3.55 runs per game with Bailey Falter pitching multiple scoreless innings to allow the bullpen to comfortably close out the game with the lead. The Phillies have a dominant performance on the road to win their fourth game in a row, so the Philadelphia Phillies' money line is our full-game side pick. Alcantara has been the best pitcher in the National League this season, and a few of his recent rough outings have come against the best lineups in the majors. Philadelphia is good enough to score two or three runs in six or seven frames against him, but that won't be enough to cash the over. Falter has been excellent filling in as a spot starter in the Phillies' rotation, so I expect him to pitch a good game against a bad Miami lineup on Tuesday. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Pittsburgh Pirates vs. Cincinnati Reds Game 2 On Tuesday night, the Pittsburgh Pirates and Cincinnati Reds meet in the third game of a four-game set at Great American Ballpark. These two clubs will play a doubleheader Tuesday. The Pittsburgh Pirates are 52-88 this season and have lost four of their last six games. Pittsburgh won game one of this series by a score of 6-3 on Monday night. The Pittsburgh pitching staff has a 4.67 earned run average, a 1.43 WHIP, and a .263 opponent batting average this season. The Pirates' offense has scored 498 runs with a .222 batting average and a .288 on base percentage. Brian Reynolds is batting .256 with 22 home runs and 52 RBIs for the Pirates this season. The Cincinnati Reds are 56-83 this season and have lost three games in a row. Prior to losing the first game of this series, Cincinnati lost two out of three games against Milwaukee. The Cincinnati pitching staff has a 4.91 earned run average, a 1.4 WHIP, and a .255 opponent batting average. The Reds' offense has scored 597 runs with a .242 batting average and a .309 on base percentage this year. Kyle Farmer is batting .266 with 10 home runs and 64 RBIs for the Reds this season. Cincinnati has yet to officially announce announced their starter for the second game of this twin bill Tuesday. Louis Sessa was initially supposed to start the second game, but the Reds are expecting to start him for game one. They have been trotting out a slew of unproven arms to see what they have going for next season after they traded Louis Castillo. They have served up the third most home runs in baseball, but their opponent is equally as bad in that regard. Pittsburgh cannot seem to win any games in Cincinnati. Entering play on Monday evening, they have lost a whopping 16 of their last 19 games at Great American Ballpark. It has been a dismal year for both teams, with the two of them simply going through the motions. We will trust the Reds at home here, simply because the Pirates are inept on the road. It'll be interesting to see what Ortiz can do in his debut. However, he's got a 4.56 earned run average in 124.1 innings of work at the AA and AAA levels this year. If Ortiz can keep the ball in the park, he'll do well in his first start. So the Cincinnati Reds money line is our full game side pick. Like the Reds, the Pirates have yet to officially announce the starter for the second game of this doubleheader. It is Ronzi Contra's turn in the rotation, but they may opt to hold him until Wednesday's game instead and roll with the bullpen. Contra's held the Cardinals to one run in five a third innings of work for a victory on Friday in his prior appearance. He got just one strikeout and did not generate a single missed swing on the 44 fastballs he threw. Due to his velocity concerns, he may be on a severe innings limit as they monitor his production this late in the year. That means we will see a lot of the Pirates' bullpen, and that bodes well for the over. Both teams allow 5.08 runs per game, near the bottom of the majors. Both teams cannot pitch, and both are playing for nothing. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.